Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> if you're looking to integrate footwear into your Spidey costume or cosplay, then this is the process for you. I like putting sneakers on over my Spidey costume for the stability it gives, but there's nothing like having footwear integrated right into your hero suit. Like this awesome footwear made for my symbiote suit by E-Town Spidey. This is river shoes integrated right into the suit. You can find them at any department store like Walmart. I got these ones at Canadian Tire. So let's look at how to integrate them right into your hero costume. I got my classic Spidey suit here. It's been puff painted. It took a long time to put all this detail in, but honestly, it was a mistake to puff paint the suit before adding the footwear. So it's gonna be a lot harder to sew the footwear in now that I've puff painted it. You're gonna need basic sewing supplies like scissors, the thread that matches your costume color, and a thimble to protect your finger because you might prick yourself. Trust me, you'll be sewing through rubber a little bit on this shoe build. Sewing needles to pin it into your suit or some tape. A marker to mark out the area you're going to cut. And of course, footwear and the suit itself. Okay, let's get into the build. Here, but you know, I'm gonna use the red Sharpie because I'm still gonna be able to see it and it's just a little bit less scary. You have the Sharpie marking out the hole. So there's literally no need to leave the sock on, but the reason I'm doing it is because I puff painted the suit already. So it's actually gonna be pretty tight to get it on and off. I'm just gonna limit the amount of times I have to take the suit on and off. First thing you do is put on a leg of the suit, and then you're going to mark out an area to cut along the base of the shoe. Put the shoe on to your foot, and then fold the costume over the shoe. Don't cut the hole too big, because you'll always have a chance to trim some fabric later. Right now, you're going to need to pin the fabric of the costume to the shoe. It's great to use sewing needles for that if you can, but you know what? You can use duct tape and you're a lot less likely to prick yourself. Now that the shoe is taped to the suit, you're actually ready to start sewing it together. It's a little easier said than done, especially because I puff painted this suit beforehand, which was a big mistake. It made it a lot harder to sew it in, but this is my first time ever integrating footwear into the suit itself. So I'll probably post another video doing this later with a more intimate and detailed description of how to do it. But right now, I'm just getting in to sewing the shoe right into the suit by going all along the line of the sole of the shoe. My stitch marks are pretty large because I'm going through rubber, but I'm going to go around the whole shoe twice to get it double stitched and extra firmly integrated into the shoe. Even though I took time to double stitch this baby, I'm still going to take a little bit of super glue and just put it under the line of the fabric before I cut and trim the fabric again. Honestly, it's definitely better to have fabric glue, shoe glue, or some kind of silicone glue, but I'm in a rush now. I'm just gonna use super glue. Right now, the footwear is looking pretty good and I'm gonna put some extra stitches in just to make sure it's nice and secure but check back with me later to see how this worked. Next up, I'm going to be showing some other builds and integrating shoes into different suits. So be sure to check out my nerdy fan films and other cosplay builds. Thanks for watching guys, cheers.